In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve equations using all the properties of equality. Let's look at this first example. We have 2a plus 3 equals 11. Right away, you probably want to divide by 2 over here, divide by 2 over here, and then subtract the 3 later on. That's not going to work. Whatever, remember, whatever you do to the left side, you have to do to the right side. So you're correct, and if you divide this by 2, you divide this by 2. But if you're dividing by 2, you have to divide the entire left-hand side by 2. So that would be dividing 2a by 2 and dividing 3 by 2. So there's a simpler step to take first. Whenever you're solving an equation like this, you want to start with your addition or your subtraction. So we want to move this 3 over to the other side first. So we're going to start by subtracting 3 to get rid of this positive 3. And whatever we do to the left side, we have to do to the right side. So subtract that by 3. Now we're left with 2a plus 3 minus 3 is 0 equals 11 minus 3 is 8. We know that 2a plus 0 is just 2a. So 2a equals 8. Now we can divide. Since this 2 is multiplied by a, we can divide to get rid of the 2. Since 2, to, 2 divided by 2 is 1, we're left with 1 times a equals 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So we have that a equals 4. Let's look at our next example. So now we have 4a minus 3 equals 37. Remember, we have to deal with addition and subtraction first because this 4a is together and this 3 is all by itself. So let's add 3 to both sides. Adding 3 to the left will get rid of this negative 3 and then adding 3 to the right is because we added 3 on the left hand side of the equation. And whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right. So now we have 4a minus 3, that's negative, plus a positive 3 will give you 0 equals 37 plus 3 will give you 40. 4a minus 0 we know is just 4a because you're taking nothing away from that 4a. So now the last step would be to divide, to reverse that multiplication. So divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times a equals 40 divided by 4 is 10. So 1 times a is a. a equals 10. So 10 is your solution. Let's look at another example. In this example, we have 2 plus c divided by 8 equals 3. Again, we don't want to start off by getting rid of this 8 because that, again, we can't start with the multiplication or division, so we have to get rid of this 2 first. This 2 is added to this c over 8. So in order to get rid of a positive 2, we're going to have to add a negative or subtract 2. Whatever we do to the left, we have to do to the right. So 0 plus c divided by 8 equals 3 minus 2, which is 1. 0 plus c divided by 8 is just c over 8. And then we're still left with 1 on the right-hand side. Now, remember, to get rid of this division, so we're multiplying by 8, and whatever we do to the left, we have to do to the right. So now, this 8 and 8 become 1, and we know that c divided by 1 is just c. So we have c equals 1 times 8 is 8. So c equals 8. In our next example, we have d divided by 10 minus 36 equals 20. We're going to start with either addition or subtraction. So we're going to get rid of this number that's by itself right now. So we're going to add 36 to both sides. So 
So now we have d over 10, and negative 36 plus 36 is going to be 0. So d over 10 minus 0 equals 56, because that's 20 plus 36. d over 10 minus 0 is just d over 10. Now, to undo this division, we're going to multiply by 10 to both sides. So 10 will basically cancel each other out, and it'll just be d divided by 1, which is d, and 56 times 10 is 560. So d in this equation is 560. Let's look at one final example. And here we have 5a plus 2a minus 3 equals 4. Our first step will be to simplify this. We have two variables, but both variables are the same. So we can combine like terms like we did in our previous video. 5a, 5a can be combined with 2a. So we're going to have 7a, because 5 plus 2 is 7, minus 3 equals 4. Now we just solve like we've been doing. To get rid of this subtraction, we're going to add 3 to both sides. So 7a minus a negative 3 plus a positive 3 is just 0. So 7a minus 0 equals 4 plus 3, which is 7. So now we just have 7a equals 7. We're going to divide by 7 to get rid of this multiplication or undo the multiplication. And since 7 divided by 7 is 1, and a divided by 1 is just a, we're going to have a equals 7 divided by 7, which is 1. So a is 1 in this equation.